in their deepest of awareness. The key of the stars. You are the origin of my origin, and my last hope to break through the cage of space-time here. At this moment, the history of this place cannot be rewritten. I need to go back to the beginning of my consciousness and fall asleep. Before that, you need to replace me in this space. Only you can break through the barriers of space-time here. In the bedroom, a child of about 8 years of age is changing the daffodils in a vase. A young woman is lying in bed, leaning against the headboard to rest. Mom, none of the aunts and uncles are awake yet. I tried to wake them yet, nothing happened. So I sneaked into the garden and picked some flowers. Will they blame me when they find out? After hearing the child's words, the woman's face turned sad. But still, she braced her body, face to the child, then explained slowly. A good boy like you has nothing to do with it. Your aunts and uncles are just too tired, thus they need a good rest. You shouldn't bother them at all. Anan. Thank you for taking care of mommy all the time. Once I've recovered, we'll move to the town and live there together. You can make a lot of friends and go out freely. Really? But Grandpa said, I can never leave the castle. It's okay. Grandpa will definitely agree with this. Anan. Can you bring a message to Grandpa for me? I'm feeling much better now. Tell Grandpa that he shouldn't worry. But, don't go to the secret room. Otherwise, your father will be angry. You promised your mother you would do as she asked. You are ready to leave now so as not to disturb her rest. This is your family photo. There are about 10 people pictured there. This is your family photo. It's the drawer, your mother, in order not to make mother angry. You gently close the bedroom door. This is your family photo, where about 10 people stand together. An old white man is standing in the middle. A young couple holding a baby is beside him. The woman does not look well, her face is pale. And the man behind her is wearing a black, wide-brimmed hat, so you can't see his face.
You feel uneasy for no reason. As if there are many, unseen dangers. You hear strange sounds coming from all. Taunting, laughing. The feeling disappears when you breathe out. A heavy sound like the door being pushed open rings out from behind. You can't help but look back. A man wrapped in bandages pushes the portrait aside and slowly walks out from the corridor of the secret room. You look out the window, the sun, the grass, the forest. That's the world you've always wanted to be in. Just when you are about to enter the room, time stagnates. You lose consciousness. You don't know how much time has passed. When you awaken, your grandfather is standing before you. As you look around, you notice that a door has appeared in the study, one you've never seen before. Child, you are the last hope of the family. All the stars in the world align according to certain laws. But people's fates differ. We let you take on too many responsibilities. More than now, little one, I allow you 10 years of freedom. Grandfather points at the stone door standing in the center of the study. This door connects two worlds. You see the meadow and forest outside. You find that the grandpa is not as strict as usual today. His speech is unusually soft. At one moment, this makes you feel quite weird, and you subconsciously ask. Grandpa, we are not going together. Grandpa, I don't want to go. I gotta be with you. I don't wanna leave here. I don't like the world outside. I wanna stay with daddy and mommy. I don't want to leave you. Child, I didn't give you with a happy childhood. It's all grandpa's fault. Your parents, grandpa couldn't save them. Now at the end, I can only offer you a small gesture. I'll buy you 10 years of freedom. Anna, my dearest child, I'm proud of you. Even when you are down, you can face life with optimism, but the haze still grows in your heart. I know you've been putting up with the misery. Just try and forget about it. Forget the stone walls and the structure of this house. Forget all the faces of your family. Forget about our past memories. Forget everything that happened here. But, uh, my little one, remember, the sky is always the same. No matter where you are, the stars will light your way home. In your eyes, that doorway transforms into a soft and comfortable bed. Now you just want to rest, a good rest. You went through the door in a daze. The meadow and skyline that were there a moment ago suddenly disappeared. A waterfall of heavy rain followed, fiercely washing away the town in front of you, Dunwick. The heavy rain roared along with the river. The huge castle standing on the cliff collapsed in a flash and the town was raised to the ground. You felt dizzy, falling unconscious on the side of the road. Right at that moment, a scholarly-looking old man with gray hair happened to be driving a ford in a torrential downpour. The blinding headlights shone towards your collapsed body on the side of the road. Finding your unconscious body, he rushed out of the car and carried you to safety. In the gusts of wind and pouring rain, the car safely bypassed the mudslide and drove all the way to Providence. Ten years later, Providence Nighttime Dormitory. Another conflict occurred near here. The security around is getting worse and worse. Just follow the doctor's advice and rest early. 
I hope the medicine works. You seem to have sealed some of the memories, and want to unseal them, but you cannot suppress the pain. It is like a big mess of things, tumbling around in your head. If you keep putting it there, no matter where it is, it is like a big mass, that accumulates more and more. How to solve it by physical means, just before you use, extreme methods to solve the problem. Your reason takes control of yourself. You finally managed to get to the hospital, however, the hospital did not find out, the cause of the illness. They only gave you a pale, psychiatric diagnosis report. Chief complaint insomnia, palpitations, accompanied by hallucinations. History of present illness poor appetite, memory disturbance, partial loss of emotional function, physical exam BP 102, 51 P 110. NSPE, diagnosis it is recommended to avoid adverse event stimuli and fall asleep earlier, prescribe small amounts of oxazolam as medication. You take the medicine bottle out of the cabinet and open it. The medication prescribed by your doctor to prevent you from being affected by psychiatric disorders, which may lead to hallucinations. I hope I have a good dream tonight. Despite the medication, your sensitive nerves are still preventing you from sleeping. Your mind is filled with images. Late at night, you are half asleep and half awake. You can't control your body now. You know that this is just a dream. It's very real, but it's just a dream. You woke up from the nightmare, holding onto the wall in a cold sweat. Although there was no wound, the pain in the dream also ached your body. After calming down, you adjusted your breathing and the pain subsided a little. You hesitated and decided to go back to sleep. You fall back to sleep. This time, the nightmare doesn't appear until the morning comes. There was no writing on the envelope, but the pattern stamps on the wax seal seemed inexplicably familiar. You subconsciously opened the envelope. Anan, my dearest child, today is your 18th birthday. I have prepared a birthday present for you, which I have placed in my study. For security reasons, I can't write in detail here, but I'm sure you can find it. You are the last hope of our family, and I believe you will be able to overcome. Why did the letter disappear? Your mind is flooded with fragmented images. It's like a dream, but you don't seem to be awake yet. Memories come up from the depths of my memory, yet nothing can be grasped like smoke. You try to digest these memories. Fortunately, there is none of the usual pain in digesting memories this time. An image comes to your mind, where you see the old castle at night. In the sky, the Star of Enlightenment shines brightly. The chapel on the west side, the dome of the Stargazer, Everything is so familiar. Finally, you remember the memories of your family.
Amy's recommended books. I haven't finished them all after that. I'll return them. News says the meat products delivered to the city from Arkham have a major food safety incident. Although the related food companies have been investigated and punished, most of the food has already entered the market. The person who eats it will have crazy symptoms, and the symptoms are not obvious during the eat.